Hello, this is Air Davria Simpson reporting for Titan TV. I'm standing in front of the USS Iowa here in Long Beach, where today they're having a Veterans Day celebration. The American Soldier Network hosted the Veterans Day event, where there was a huge show of support from the community. Veterans, current military service members, and civilians attended. It's also great to actually do it at the USS Iowa. And to actually see a lot of people come through to visit and ask questions. When you look down that way, you got vets, you got vets on the left, vets on the right, you got organizations here, and it's all volunteer. <laughs> I, I wanted to go into the Air Force when I was like 15, 16 years old, and uh, unfortunately I couldn't do it because I had asthma, and that's uh, uh, pretty much a big no-no in the military. And um, so I figured, well, if I can't serve that way, well, maybe I could volunteer. And I'm down here almost every weekend, uh, I have a great deal of respect for veterans, and I do what I can to help them in any way I can. Well, I'm, a, I'm a volunteer on the Iowa. I'm with the tour department. I've, I've been with the ship for four years since she's been here. I retired out of the Navy in 1996 as a first class boatswain's mate. I, um, I joined 79. Um, my first ship was the USS Robinson, a guided missile destroyer. And then I served on two of the Iowa class battleships in the 80s, the USS New Jersey and the USS Missouri. I was on in New Jersey during Beirut, Lebanon, and then I was on board in Missouri during Desert Storm, Desert Shield. And my last command was at Barbers Point Naval Air Station in Hawaii. Being a veteran is all about duty on our country. I served on active duty for seven years, and I'm now a reservist and just joined in the reserves. Um, what Veterans Day means to me is it's a day to, to commemorate all the sacrifices that all veterans go through. You know, it's honoring and celebrating our vets that have risked their lives and continue to risk their lives. I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional. It's okay. um, we really appreciate everything that you guys do, all of our active duties and our former active duties. Uh, it's just a great way to come out here and kind of, I think it reminds, gives them some memories of what, um, you know, what it was like during their time. So that's what we come out here to do. Yeah, I've never, I didn't grow up with a military family, but seeing my daughter and just kind of experiencing what she's kind of going through, it's just, it's emotional. And I work, I also work with the Navy, I work in Belleville Hospital in San Diego, so I work with a lot of active duty, I do research with military uh, physicians, but so I just, I, I don't think people really appreciate what they do and how much they give back to us, and they, I think it's kind of taken for granted and stuff, and we just don't, we don't honor them as much as we should. Two years ago, a cousin of mine was killed in Afghanistan, so it's very important to me in that way to remember those who have sacrificed their lives and everything they gave for us. I think we need to recognize the contributions and um, sacrifice that those individuals make um, because it's definitely not something that's ordinary, so there needs to be time put aside to recognize them. It's an opportunity to remember those who went before us, who established our country. If it wasn't for the veterans, we wouldn't have this free country. Veterans Day is a chance to show our appreciation for those who have answered our nation's call to service. Veterans Day is November 11th, and the businesses across the nation show their appreciation through various discounts on services and meals. This is Air Davria Simpson reporting from the USS Iowa Long Beach.